Okay, all I did is the, the I had to just add a quote there at the end of the sentence. So if there's a sentence that starts with quotes, I just made sure that I put the quotes within that sentence so that if it used another sentence, it wouldn't mix it up. Um, where the quotes were is right before this word bringing. And then I also noticed that between these two brackets, there was not a space. It looked just like that. So all I did is I put a space in there, and that should fix everything. If we go over to look at the spun article, um, yeah, that looks great. We hit new spin. Now the quotes are gone. Hit new spin. Okay, th that sentence or that sentence is back. So we got that uh, repair taken care of. Okay, now that we've got everything, uh, both paragraphs spun together. And by the way, you can do it however you're comfortable. I mean, in the case of we've got two complete articles that we're doing, not just paragraphs, you can go paragraph by paragraph, do it how you want. Um, I recommend, you know, do it a paragraph at a time and then, you know, spin all the words and then go and then spin the next two paragraphs together and, and so on and so forth. So we need to go back and change the settings back to word by word. Come back here in the article. Now you you always have to keep in mind the sentence has to still make sense. So for one of the basic, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you another feature here. You can click this button down here that says identify synonyms, and it will actually underline phrases. So instead of going in there and just doing the word one, um, one of the can actually be spun, which is pretty handy. Or a lot of people. Um, so let, let's check this out. Where my cursor is now, I'm going to hit tab. And that highlights the whole sentence because we spun it. I'm going to hit tab again. Then it highlights that phrase. So then I can just simply, um, among the basic things, one of several basic things, one of many basic things, on the list of, okay, so that's good. Now I'm going to go to the next word. Um, and we don't need to do in, any of those individually, so I'm going to skip to the end and just hit tab over here basic. So then I can say fundamental, simple, standard, essential, important. And then I'm going to Okay. etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So one of the important things, one of the important points, uh, uh, factors, details. And there's a whole big list here. All right, I think I'm just going to finish there. Oops. In, I can say within. That'll be good. With vehicle maintenance. I can say truck maintenance. I'll just say auto maintenance. Okay. And then repair is definitely another good word in there so auto maintenance auto repair auto service there we go just wanted to find a third one is the maybe the is a um, and we're talking about is a changing of spark plugs. Maybe that doesn't fit the best, so I'll remove that one. Is the, maybe the changing could be, will be, often is the, okay. I'm gonna go to these next ones here. Oh, I skipped. You can hit control tab to go pr back previously. Is the changing of spark plugs replacing? That would be good. Is the swapping of maybe replacement? Okay. What did I do? Okay, I'm just gonna go in there manually. Of spark plugs. Now you see spark plugs is italicized, and it just doesn't have other synonyms for spark plug. So you can highlight that word, and you can manually type some in there. Um, I might just say spark plugs. Uh, with a space in there and I can just manually hit add and it will go ahead and do that. Alright, I'm going to continue doing this for the rest of this paragraph and we'll pick this up in part 3.